everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for October 19th, 2021. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. This is Sarek, also with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary and one of the stars of our Royals at the Ranch series. He's going to help me demonstrate some of the concepts in this week's Training Tuesday video. This week's Training Tuesday topic is the result of a viewer question. The question was, how do I go about habituating a snake to having their head touched and handled? As with most of what I do, I start by letting the snake approach me. I let the snake investigate my hand and touch their head to my hand until they are comfortable and relaxed with that. Now, this is assuming you have a relationship with your snake already that makes it safe to do this. If your snake may bite because it perceives you as a threat or because it has ill-defined feeding parameters, then you should work on developing trust and clear communication with your snake first before starting to work on head touching. I find allowing the snake's head to approach my hand is the least intrusive, most effective way to let them get used to my hand touching their head. This is because they're making the choice to let their head touch my hand instead of the other way around, which would mean that I would be intruding my hand into their space. As you see in these clips, the snake could retreat and get away at any time, but chooses not to. Once the snake is comfortable and relaxed with other parts of their body being touched and they're amenable to general handling, I start more active habituation by putting my hand near their head and eventually touching their head for brief moments at a time while they're out moving around. I keep an eye on their body language and make sure they're not approaching threshold or a state of distress. I try to keep the interaction calm and laid back, allowing the snake's head to touch me when possible. And as the interaction continues, I nonchalantly sneak touches in during the session. Most of the time, with slow, gradual desensitization in this manner, the snakes start to move their head through my hand and fingers as they explore. And as you see with our bull snake, Rodney, I touch her head more deliberately and put more pressure on it with my hand as I'm redirecting her during her exercise time. Most snakes are never going to enjoy having their head handled by humans. However, desensitizing them to it ahead of time can really help reduce distress. If they have to have their mouth examined, if they have to have lab testing done that requires a saliva sample, or if they have to be given oral medication. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Training Tuesday. As you can see, Sarek is very good about me touching his head. After using the techniques that I demonstrated in this video, he's really calm and relaxed, and he actually moves his head through my fingers and over my hands sometimes when he's just out exercising. So I hope that you have equal success habituating your snake to having their head nose and mouth touched and messed with. <laughs> but if you don't and you have any additional questions or you run into any issues, please feel free to email me at behavioreducationllc at gmail.com or you can reach me through my website at behavioreducation.org or you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Education.org or the button. What? Go back to the you can reach me. <laughs> you spell it right now, so <laughs> you can reach me at do, what did you where did you stop i don't know i don't know i hit the button and i was trying to move it so let me see